Do you know if you obey God's word and you add the presence of God, it's going to be the spark of a revival in lives of people? I've seen it in my own family. I've seen it. I mean, can I be transparent with you when there's times that I'm not right with God? Oh, you're the pastor. You're supposed to be right with God all the time. We're, in you, we're human beings. But when I'm not right with God, I could see my family ships this way. But when I'm right with God, and I start to follow God, and the presence of God comes back in my life, God brings a revival again in the life of Carlos Serrano and the family of Carlos Serrano. But I think about it in a bigger scale. When God's people are right with God, guess what happens? Things start to change. The spirit starts to change. The attitude starts to change. The heart becomes tender. The heart brings you, the, there's an, there is a humility amongst God's people. And there's an act of kindness and repentance. And there's a spirit of reconciliation when someone does something wrong to somebody else. Because why? Because they're seeking the presence of God and they're submitting to the word of God. Here, the Bible is clearly so simple that the Word of God, when they submit to it and they have the presence of God in their life, a revival takes place. Do you know that your home is just waiting for somebody to get right with God? I believe this, that why the homes are so messed up, ladies, you got to thank me for this, is because of the men. I, I, I'm serious. The reason why homes are so messed up is because the men are messed up. You know, men say, you know, sometimes they say, well, you know, you don't understand my wife. She, she's da 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 and, it's like, and then I could just hear it and hear it and hear it. But then I think to myself, who's leading the wife? Who's leading the wife? It's the husband that leads the wife. It's the husband that leads the home. It's the, you know, we, we take... Almost like we take pride in that. I'm the head of the home. But you know how much responsibility that means? It's not just a title. It's a duty and a responsibility before God that I lead like Jesus. Gentle, meek, that kind of spirit. Humble spirit. A gentle spirit. And I guarantee you, if the home is going to ever get fixed, when the man or the authority of the home gets fixed, everything goes in its place. The king was the authority of the whole nation during that time. And when that was fixed, the whole people saw a revival happen in Nineveh because the proper authority needed to get fixed first because there was a, way, a revival waiting. So when Jonah went there, he came there with God's word and the presence of God, and he just fixed everything up. Sure, Jonah wasn't seeking God before, but at least he obeyed in chapter 3. Didn't he obey in chapter 3? Jonah preached the preaching that I bid thee. He said, yes, Lord, I'll obey you now. I don't want to experience another day in the whale hotel. I'll go back to Nineveh like you told me, and I'll go preach the message. And there he preached the message that God told him. He submitted to the word of God, and the presence of God was there waiting. And the revival sparked, and there's a fire that broke out. And people started to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, and the whole city got saved. 